Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're jumping into a new game on Steam. It's called The Best Forklift Operator. This is my second attempt playing the game. My original footage was all a bit shaky and janky. So I've decided to um, jump back into the game again. And I'm going to re-record. This game is available on Steam. We're playing in VR. And today I'm playing on the Oculus Rift S. Okay guys, I'm in the game and hopefully my recording's nice and smooth for you guys. In my last recording, it was all very jittery. I'm not sure if it was the game itself that was causing the stuttering, or it could be my OBS software recording. I'm in the game, I'm going to do exactly what I did in my last video, the one I had to scrap. So we're going to jump into the options menu. You hold down your left or right thumbstick to bring up a laser pointer. We're going to check out the options. Graphics from medium. These are my controls. And I'm going to jump into the training mode just so you guys can see how the, uh, how the game works. Okay, so we're inside the tutorial. And I was saying in my last video, this reminds me of the American Truck Simulator games. Very similar art style. It looks very similar. So we're going to accept the tutorial. And this is going to show us how to drive the, the forklift. We're going to learn the basics. You need to sit comfortably. You have to hold the A button down and change the camera position. Now it took me a while to get used to how to change the camera position. If you hold your hand, press the A button, the camera will move. So I find the best way is to move your hands around. Make sure you can reach the steering wheel and the controls here. So on the left hand side we can see the time. We have the number of pallets we've stored. And the number of crashes as well. On the right side we've got our career money. As you can see I've already made £750. I completed the first mission. I, um, I got £500 for completing the mission. And I got a bonus £250 for not crashing. If you need a break press the Y button. That does not seem to work on the, on the Rift controller. Okay so now we're going to move the forks into a position off the ground. So we're going to lift them up and we're going to tilt them slightly upwards away from the ground. Grab the wheel with your left hand and you can turn it really simple lot. So at the moment we're in drive, you press R for reverse, D for drive and you use your right controller to move so now we're going to move and we need to pick up the pallet there we're going to slow down we're going to turn the wheel I need to make sure I don't hit that bollard in my last video I kept hitting the bollard with my back end you soon learn to use the mirrors to your advantage so we're going to try not to hit this bollard here let me go for a little bit there we go and then turn. Now this machine's got a really tight turning angle. Okay, we're going to pick up the pallet here. And again, I hit the bollard behind me, look. Luckily, it did not register as a crash. So we're in position, we're going to lower the forks and we're going to tilt them again so they are level and we're going in to pick up the crate we're going to tilt the forks and then we're going to raise the forks and I was saying in my last video this is an amazing simulator it feels so natural 
so instinctive. The benefits of playing the game in VR as well, because originally this was a pancake game and they added VR support. In VR, you can judge everything. Because it's so realistic, you can judge the distance to the crates, you can judge the distance to the pillars and the posts and everything. So now we're going to turn around here. Let me reverse a little bit. We're going to go back a bit. Use my mirrors to check. There's nothing behind me. Drive mode. And we're going around here. Now we're going to get like an obstacle course. We need to guide our way through the obstacle course. And you can use the shadows on the ground to judge the angle of the forks. So when you're tilting the forks like that, you can see the angle tilt on the shadow. Pretty cool. So as I was saying in my last video, I do think this is a game for if you're into the American Truck Simulator type games, you probably enjoy this game. So we're going to put this on here. Let me get into position. Let me uh, reverse back a little bit. Check my mirrors. Okay, so now we're going to lift this up. Okay, so now I can judge in 3D when this is going to be in the right spot. So now we can drop it down. Perfect, so now I can reverse. Something really funny happened in my last video. Um, because of the momentum and the physics in the game, I put the forks down too far on the pallet and it actually lifted me up and at one point it started to tilt me which is quite funny. So now we need to park in here and that's the uh, tutorial done. Okay, so that's the tutorial. Now I'm going to jump back into the career mode. And we're going to continue my career. You can unlock new forklifts throughout the game lock. That one's locked. Now we've got the warehouse, we've got the shipping room and we've got the storage hall, which is coming soon. In the warehouse you've got six missions, so I've got a feeling these are going to have six missions and the same with this one. I completed mission one, I've unlocked mission two, so we're going to do mission two. And we're cleaning the warehouse, £1,000 cash reward. We get bonus money for completing it in eight minutes and we get bonus money for not crashing. Okay, cleaning the warehouse. He's not happy with my locker. Okay, let's go. Let's accept the mission. In my last video that I had to scrap, that's the uh, trailer, the lorry trailer there, look. All the pallets were inside there. I had to take all the pallets out to the trailer and stack them on the shelf over there. So this one's a bit different. All the pallets are in here. And we need to go and grab them and put them on here so let's go and grab this one here first easy one here the game's running really nice it looks super smooth okay okay we're going to grab the first pallet we're going to tilt it Lift it, mind the wall behind. We're going to reverse. And that's going on there, look. I need to turn it round. I'm facing the wrong way, so we need to put it down.
reverse back. Use my mirrors to make sure there's nothing behind me. Okay, we need to go around here. And this all becomes very instinctual. You soon get used to the controls and it feels really natural. I was really proud of myself when I completed the uh, first mission. We got this. Slide it around a little bit, doesn't matter. Okay, so this is going on here. Okay, let me reverse a little bit. There we go. This is quite a challenging game, it's not easy. Okay. There we go. That's one. Okay, which one are we going for next? Let's go for the uh, bottles of water over there. Do not underestimate this game, it's quite fun and challenging as well. It's one of those games that's going to take a while to master. Come on. Okay, tilt. Lift. Okay, reverse. Make sure nothing behind me. I'm going this way. I mentioned in my last video it'd be really cool for like the developers to have like AI characters walking around. So you have to avoid them as well. That would make the game really challenging. Okay. In we go. Gently does it. I'm not quite in, so do I need to go for a little bit? So there you go, look, there's me messing around with the uh, angle. Okay, I'm not quite in there. Do I need to turn this around? Is it too wide? Okay, I've got a feeling it might be too wide. I've got a feeling I might need to add this at another angle. Let me put it down. Okay. First, check my mirrors. Let's try this way. Try again. Oh, it's gonna fall off. No, 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 no. Go for it, quick. Push it back on. Crap. I totally messed up. Oh no. That's screwed. How am I supposed to write that now? That's upside down, PD. We're totally screwed. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to have to start the game. Okay, we're going to try again. Hopefully, we do not lose our water this time. 
reverse, spin it around, steady, she's wobbling a bit, Okay. We did it this time, so let's go for the next one over here. I've got a bit of damage already guys. I hit this pillar over here, look, when I was putting in that crate over there and I've I crashed look. Okay, let's go for this one. Nice, get the bottles, tilt. Okay, where's this one going? Over there. Get the angle right, and then we're going to lift up. Okay, perfect, nice, so we've got three more to do, let's go over here, let's grab this small one here, You have to really concentrate as well, pretty cool. Okay, where's this one going? Over there. Turn around. Make sure we don't hit the top. Okay, let me reverse, get the angle better, there we go, okay, gently, okay, I'm stuck slightly, there we go, two more to go. Let's go for this one. You do start to feel yourself getting more confident as you progress and learn the mechanics. Okay, this one's going in there. So if you're looking for a challenging game, this is quite challenging. Nice. One left to go. In this corner. Okay, this is quite narrow. There we go. Yeah, you have to be careful with the physics look. Okay, so that's actually 
hitting the bollard over there so I need to make sure I don't hit it anymore there we go yeah it's making off balance look okay this one's going in there I'm going to have a quick look at the next level to see how it differs to these ones Job done, and now we need to park up. Job done. I have to say, guys, this is a lot more fun than I was expecting. There we go, we've got some money, we've got a thousand dollars for delivering the pallets. I've got minus for time, and um, because I crashed. I lost a bit of bonus there. Not a bad day's work there. I think being a YouTuber, I'm in the wrong profession. I'm going to have a quick look at mission three and then we'll end the video. Refreshing the warehouse. So a bit more money coming in. Bonus for delivering all pallets and completing the tasks. I was hit by a forklift in the knee. Very funny. So we need to take all the loads to the second warehouse. I'm going to do one. I'm going to take... Oh right, do we have to go in there? This will be interesting. Okay, this is going to be cool. So is the other warehouse in here? Okay, let me grab a pallet. Let's see where we need to go. Let me take one of these off the shelf. A bit more challenging. Let's go for this one up here a lot. This might look easy guys, but it's not. It does help being in VR. Can you imagine somebody getting a job in a real factory doing this? And the uh, manager asked them, what they've got training wise in the forklift and they say it was all in VR okay so where do we need to take this do I need to put it in one of these Take it into the other warehouse. All oh, right, we need to take it in here. Okay, I've got you. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it there, guys. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure it's my little bell that needs to turn around. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm just going to put this in here. Spin around. Whee! Oh crap. <laughs> that was silly. Uh, remember not to go too fast. I'll see you later guys. Bye. Now I need to restart again.